We will pull you. We're waiting for one more rider. Jacob Schwinkler, we're rolling away. Future lap, let's roll it out. Future lap and a half.
So we have a correction for that last B points race. They are out of the field. The winner, in fact, is Laverne Winter Parks with 11 points. And she's out there racing now, so maybe this might spur her on as she is winner of the last race. We will have official results shortly. 20 laps to go, and as of yet, no fireworks. So we need to see some fireworks out there. Everyone's saving it up. And who's at the back but Mr. Wattage and Tony Zachary. This is playing right into riders like that's hands. Luis Bernhardt starts to stretch it out. 19 laps to go. We need some inspired, aggressive racing out here. Tony Zachary at the back, Stuart Lynn at the back, and they're hiding out. And now we've got the race, Mike Sinek. There's some excitement. Mike Sinek has now got a fall straightaway. Yes, a fall straightaway for Mike Sinek. Let's cheer on this man. I've witnessed the growth and birth of this man at Cyclic firsthand. He showed up at a race that I put on in March outside in the pouring, driving rain in nothing else but a white rock t-shirt. Hence the nickname T-Shirt Civic. He then upgraded, so as you see now, he's wearing wool. So he's been known as Wooly Wooly T-Shirt Civic. That's where the name comes from. And now he's got the group in sight on the same straightaway. If he takes the lap, he will most certainly secure the win. Let's cheer him on, but we've got the Pope from Maple Ridge in between Jason. And now we've got Tara Wick bolting out of the group. And following will be Laverne, Winter Parks, Jenny True, the Flying Squirrel, Steph Ruerda, Kelly Burton. And this has left Stuart Lynn and some of the contenders with a huge split in the field now. We've got two, four, six, eight. And Jacob Schwingbach must be loving this because we're going to call this Schwingbach's era. It's Schwingbach and two, four, five women. And they're all older than he is. And now Ruerda makes a beautiful attack. Merton follows, as does True. Winter Parks pushes the pace. Sidic gives up the ghost. 12 laps to go. Ruerda is away. She's got Merton with her now. True is about to join. And Sidic lacks on to the back. T-shirt Wooly Willy will now have a triple date if he can make it up there. It's Merton, True, Ruerda, and Sid with about 10 bike lengths. And the charge is being led by Laverne Winter Parks. She doesn't want to sue on the date action. And Ruerda continues to power away at the front. Winter Parks does incredible work to bring across Schwingbach, Whitten, Yoda, Flater, the Mr. Wattage, Nick Dingleberry, and Luis Bernhardt. And now Laura Brown will have the group with Tony Zachary. But where is Zachary? Zachary needs to get across to this group as he needs to have any hope of chasing the hunt down at the end. Laura Brown and Kurt the Hurt Jump is now driving around. And now we've got Ruerda attacking again. This will put the pace on again. Everyone responds. Zachary will now be forced to up the ante to get back on even terms. And now Swingbot continues the pace making at the front. It's torrid out there. Zachary is closing, but Witten continues the pace. This is going to put a huge dent in Tony Zachary's sprint. But the sooner he can get on, and yes, he's made the junction. So one more rider for the new group, but yo, the leader now attacks. And he brings with him the flying squirrel, and Jenny True is across. Three riders with a two bike length gap. Winter Parks falls. Ruerda is there. They're going to see five to go next time around. Five, two, go. Now the group is being led by Jenny True. It's slowed down a little bit. Kurt Jung get on. And now Mike Sinek is gone again. 
Gets a nice move from Sidic. Three to go. He was out earlier. True chases. As does Winterparks. As does Rurda. As does Winterparks. 